Excellent. So let's get moving on this show. So welcome to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show or SharePoint feature demo show, depending on what, what kind of features we're covering. Um, today, we're going to talk about really cool new features, again, coming up on SharePoint Online. But before we go to that feature and details, let's actually have Belle here to talk about, uh, about her role on the feature and what the feature is all about. So Belle, who are you and what do you do for a living? Hi, Vesa. And first of all, thank you for inviting me to um, on this call. Um, really appreciate it. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Belle. So I'm the PM on uh, SharePoint Online. And today I'm going to walk you through the new experiences for the new SharePoint Start. Yes. And now, before we go to the live demo, let's let's recap a bit. SharePoint Start is the, that debate where we go when we click the SharePoint from the Waffle menu in Microsoft 365. Exactly. Like uh, if you if you click on the waffle today and then go to the um, click on the SharePoint logo, you will end up on the SharePoint homepage, which is basically um, a collection of all of the um, SharePoint sites that you have uh, visited or you have pinned, you have favorited, uh, or recently you have visited. Basically, so all of the um, capability that will allow you to verify and then go to the right SharePoint sites. Um, basically, we are doing a facelift on, on this page, uh, and later I will demo it to you on um, how we can help you to, uh, first of all, easily create a new SharePoint pages with this new um, SharePoint Start experiences. Yeah, I, I think that page, historically, we haven't actually modified that page for a long, long, long time. So it's actually good exactly. to have a facelift. Uh, and, and yes, it has value to collect and find the sites, but there's other ways to finding the sites as well. And the new site star, start page experience have a way of focusing on creating of content and all of that. And there's a lot of other interesting features, but I think easiest way to explain what's there. Let's let's go to the live demo. Let's walk that through. I might interrupt you, Bell, uh, as you go along, if there are any questions come along. But let's jump on your screen, and, and you can explain how the new SharePoint start uh, screen is looking like. Sounds good. Let's so, do that. So here okay. we go. Yep. Um, so uh, as we um, sort of alluded into it uh, earlier, that um, if you click on the waffle, go to um, SharePoint, then you will see the existing page. Uh, basically, this is your SharePoint home, and we have a collection of um, SharePoint site that you have uh, previously visited. We are doing a major face uh, facelift. Um, basically, you will end up in this beautiful page, uh, very gradient, and. Um, you will see that um, the you will not be able to do the wayfinding anymore, but um, we will have a, a way for the user to be able, be able to do that through the app bar here. Uh, that is actually one of the upcoming features that we will have. Um, yep. But before we get into uh, what we are planning to do that, let's have a walkthrough on the current experience. So. Um, Basically, opening with a big uh, tagline here, what do you want to create today? Um, basically, we, we want you to be able to um, have a, a simple way to create the pages. Um, if, you, if you remember uh, previously, uh, when the user want to create a page, they will have to first select the target site. And uh, we find that there's a friction there. And what we are doing today with a new SharePoint start is that we want to reduce that friction um, so basically addressing that 90% of the problem that is, you know, uh, could be disrupting, uh, hey, I want to just create something quickly here, but uh, I need to select the size, so I'm not going to do it, do that now. So we, we heard you and we want to help uh, make it better and simpler for you to create that. So let's go ahead and uh, create the blank page. Yeah, so you see that um, this is a blank page and then I can start um, writing or authoring on this page right away. Uh, let's say this is a status update. And I can also type in here and let me save as draft for now. Okay, and let's go back to the SharePoint start uh, experience. And one of the um, beautiful thing is that we we also heard uh, a lot from the customer today that um, you know the ability to 
get back into the draft or to find uh, what you just recently created is um, difficult today. Like uh, you have this um, SharePoint site and you create a page and then um, it's not very clear how I can, you know, uh, locate that draft that I just created. But with the new um, SharePoint start experience, we will solve that problem for you. Like you can scroll down to the recent pages section and here we, we will have a collection of um, the pages that you have contributed to either edited, uh, published or created it. And depending on the status of the page, we, we are making it much easier for you to find the draft. So let's say, let's say um, uh, you can come to recent pages, click on draft, and I can find the status update here that I created just now. So we are making this very easy a user to get back to the draft. Okay. Okay, so that is one thing. And let's say that now I have um, filled in all of the information in this draft. And this um, page now will become your private draft. But you don't feel like uh, publishing it to the wider audience right now. You want to collaborate it with your coworkers. And we have an easy way for you to do that as well. So from here, you can click um, share and then uh, you can either send as email or copy link to page. And in this oh. case, we're still, the page is still in your OneDrive. So because we didn't actually define where it's getting created, correct? Exactly, exactly. Um, this page right now at this moment is actually sitting on your SharePoint pages library in OneDrive for Business. So basically, this is still your personal page. Yeah. Um, and from here, you can uh, share this link to your coworkers and they can come in and then make further editing before you feel um, this is ready to share with wider audience, basically. Uh, and yeah. once everything is done, um, you have two options from the publish here. You can either select to directly publish this page, uh, make it public so that others can have access to it, or you can choose to publish it to a certain um, SharePoint site. Let's say you are a member of um, site ABC, then you want to um, specifically publish it to that site only. Um, for me, let's say this is this is my test um, SharePoint site. So I'm going to select it and publish it. Okay. And we can verify that um, this has already been published. So let's go back to my SharePoint start page. And you will see that the status has been reflected to publish as well. And this is where I can easily keep track on all of the um, pages. Yeah. Which you have created across the tenant, which is actually, this is actually really cool. That feature has not existed uh, in the past, right? It has been kind of a side exactly. by side always. Exactly, yeah. So um, one way that uh, we look at this is, it's more like a, a one-stop shop service for, uh, you know, the team to get back to um, to organize pages, to get back to the draft that you haven't finished, or even to um, if uh, someone has mistakenly published something, uh, let's say this one, then I can also come to uh, recent pages and then delete it. Yep. Um, yes. Because you created uh, the page and you have the right permissions to do that. Yes, definitely. Makes exactly. sense. Exactly. Yes. Um, now, uh, if the pages has been published to a target site, it will be deleted to the recycle bin of that um, SharePoint site. But yes. if the page is still sitting in your own personal uh, OneDrive, then this will be deleted to your own uh, OneDrive's recycle bin. So we are, yep. we are making it easier for you to manage like either uh, draft, publish page, or uh, even to restore the pages. Yep. Yeah. This is actually really cool because now you can focus easily on the actual content and there's no fear, for example, in corporate communication or scenarios, you can just work on a draft in privately within your OneDrive. There's no fear for any other, let's say, site owner accidentally seeing what you're writing on and then only and only when it's ready, you can publish that directly within a site. So this is really, really cool. Exactly, yes. And, and we have heard from... Um, 
in our user study, we have heard uh, from users that uh, sometimes they are not clear on uh, when they start working on the draft. They feel like, um, you know, they want to make sure that nobody else will, will get to see this one. I'm not ready to share yet. Um, so definitely this um, personal pages is a good concept to kind of prevent, yep. you know, um, sharing before the, your post is ready. Yep, definitely. Definitely. And it's almost the same as with files. And that's the idea of having a SharePoint site with the files and then OneDrive with the files. So whenever you work on a OneDrive and then when it's ready to go as a public documentation, you'll put it in a SharePoint site so that everybody can access that rather than just you within your OneDrive. Um, exactly. So it makes perfect sense. The concept is exactly the same. It's really cool. Yes. Um, I think, and also um, a little bit on the activity. Um, we support a uh, collaboration with others as well. So the moment that you know your colleague have edited the post, then we will also reflect on the latest changes here, like uh, the time when um, someone has made ha has made the uh, latest editing and uh, um, the person that has made that editing. So we will re reflect yes. that on here as well. Um, and uh, we we have. Um, well, let's say uh, first version of the analytics here. So we are showing the simple number of view counts that your post is currently uh, has re uh, recently received as well. Um, yep. Yeah, so this is uh, pretty much it on the, the V1 uh, preview feature of the new SharePoint start. Yeah. Really, really cool stuff. And then I, I think this will clarify a lot of lot of the processes. And of course, there's a change. Let me actually move back on the on the talking head side. There's, there is a change for customers on the way of thinking, creating of the content. But I think this will clarify, again, the draft version, the published version, and also, more importantly, getting access on all of the different pages, what we're publishing from a one centralized location. Um, but at least in my case, I publish articles and news across multiple sites, and it gets complicated every now and then to follow up on what has been released and what's not released. Yes, yes. Now, you you already said that this is V1. So um, we're typically always asking, on. so what's the future? Can we talk about any of the future features? You kind of hinted already on the, the app bar is the easier way to accessing sites. Is there any other things what we're working on which we can talk about? Yeah, that's a really good question. So um, the new SharePoint start experience will continue to be um, available as an L2 page. Uh, this is still going to be the preview feature. Um, so we are not going to replace the existing SharePoint home uh, anytime soon. Uh, we think that for the time being, we would love for you to try and then give us feedback and then we'll, we'll incorporate those um, changes into the upcoming uh, V2 as well. Um, yes. But for now, if you would love to try it out, um, some of you might receive the top banner on the current SharePoint home, and then you can click to enter into this new experience. Uh, we are still rolling this out and eventually um, targeting the end of this month, all of you should have the received the top banners already. Um, we have a lot of exciting yep. features and that we are planning spell, to sorry, add. Sorry, uh, explaining, sorry. Yes. Just saying end of this month means September 2024, depending on when people are watching the, the video. By end of September 2024, uh, the, the banner should yes. be there. So. Yes, targeting end of September, um, the banner should be there available yes. for um, all of you. Yes. Um, yep. we, we also have um, new exciting features. Um, uh, definitely, uh, we, we alluded a little bit on the app bar already. Uh, we want you know, you to be uh, to have an ability to easily locate uh, or get back into the um, the new SharePoint start experience. Um, so definitely, yeah. a placement on the app bar is uh, one thing that we are thinking about. Um, also, um, because we we know that uh, with the current SharePoint home, there's an ability for you know you to easily navigate back to the um, other SharePoint sites that you have previously used before or um, that you have favorite or pin to. Um, we are planning to add that into the um, left navigation bar on this um, the new SharePoint uh, experience as well, so that um, we will 
you know, populate uh, all of the SharePoint sites that you have recently contributed the pages to, uh, making it easier to revisit those pages as well. Yes. Uh, yes. There are other things that we are planning to add, like more web parts, uh, definitely, uh, and also the custom templates. This is something that we have heard uh, quite a lot that you are using it. Um, so definitely, this is something that we are looking into adding uh, very soon yep. in the future. Yeah. Yep. But it's always one step at a time, and I, th I, I think it's good to always release a feature, then getting the feedback, and then adjust based on that feedback as well. Uh, so every, anybody who's watching the video or the blog post or anything, please, please, please keep the feedback coming. Uh, we are building all of these features and capabilities for you uh, who are using this service. So um, we need to understand what works, what doesn't work, um, and, and adjust our plans based on that. But I, I guess that's it for this quick video, Bell. A uh, really cool feature. Um, and whenever we get to the V2, V3, and V4, we'll get you back definitely on the show to talk about um, those new capabilities. But this is already great, great, great uh, step forward on co focusing on the content and making it easier for people to create pages. Yeah, thank you so much for having me today and then to uh, walk walk everyone through the, the new SharePoint start experiences. And looking forward to coming back when we have V2. Excellent. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill, for this one. Cheers. Thank you so much. Okay.